These are raw cashews. Stick around, because we're gonna show you how to turn these into an amazing vegan queso. There's like a weird pink one in there. What is that? This is part of the skin. No, oh, it's okay. okay. We'll turn it over. Pink nuts. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hey there, I'm John. And I'm Katie, and welcome to Pizza with Plants. She just said something completely inappropriate <laughs> and highly funny. Today we are making vegan queso. Who doesn't love a good nacho sauce? Me. So. Or I mean, I do love it. Yeah, you said oh, who you doesn't. Did, you didn't answer the question right. You yeah. should have raised your hand. <laughs> anyway, so these simple ingredients will turn into an amazing nacho inspired queso that you can use for anything. Nachos, vegetables, Pizza. Could put it on burritos, tacos. We're, oh. we're gonna make a taco inspired pizza. Mm -hmm. uh, so it the base of it are just raw cashews. And you uh, you can get these at most most stores. And you're just gonna wanna soak them overnight. Uh, we like to soak them in boiling water for an hour or so, um, just to make sure that they're ready. So the, uh, that's the base of it, and then we just add a bunch of yummy stuff to it. So we've got some nutritional yeast, we have a chipotle and adobo sauce, which really is gonna give it a smoky, spicy flavor, a garlic clove, and then a nice little menagerie of spices, onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, smoked paprika, and salt. When have we ever used one garlic clove? Usually it says one clove, and that means five. I know. I don't think I've ever seen a single garlic clove by itself. It is for, it is a big garlic clove It though. is big, it so. is big. And then we're also using our Better Than Bouillon uh, Smoky Chipotle um, to give the- The so, hot water. Yeah, hot water some flavor so the cashews will start off um, already on their way towards Smokiness. Zestiness. Yes. Yeah, you could, the recipe calls, you have to blend this with some hot water, but we always like to add some sort of a bouillon to it just mm -hmm. to give it another layer of flavor. And I'll tell you what, this, the Better Than Bouillon makes, they make plant-based stuff, but they also make traditional uh, bouillon. It's awesome. bouillon, but it, these are, they're great. You can really control it. It doesn't go bad it's and they have nice. a ton of flavors. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So we are super excited. Let's make some cheese. Okay. <laughs> We're going to start our vegan queso by getting our cashews soaked. You could either do this overnight. I find it a little bit quicker to just pour some boiling water over them and let them sit for 30 minutes to an hour. While the cashews are soaking, I'm gonna go ahead and get the broth started. You can use just a plain veggie broth if you'd like, but I really like Better Than Bullion. That it's a particular brand and they have a smoky chipotle that will blow your mind. To make the queso, you're gonna to wanna to break out your high-speed blender. If you don't have one, you might be able to pull this off with your food processor, but you're gonna to wanna to let this cashew set overnight so they really get soft. First, we're gonna add in that broth, and I'm gonna hold a little bit back in case I need to add some later. Then we're gonna add in the cashews, all of the spices, the chipotle, and finally, our nutritional yeast, and we're gonna get that blended. So with the blender going, I'm gonna just grab our stick plunger and kind of mix it up a little bit so the cashews really break down into everything else. And then we're gonna just let that go for a little bit so that it gets nice, creamy, and smooth in terms of a texture. We have queso. We do. The queso's done. And Katie gets one chip and ah. I get these. I know where the bag is. <laughs> so, came together super, super quick, um, super easy, and it... It's yummy. Mm. And it's good for you. Mm. Yes, it's so... Um, this is so yummy. It's super savory with the smoke. I should have one more. Uh -huh. um, the smokiness from the chipotle, um, adding that extra little bit of oomph, I think with the broth really makes a difference. Yeah, you can taste the nutritional yeast and mm -hmm. I mean all the, it's a 
robust flavor. And you can make it as thick or thin as you want to, depending on how you're gonna use it. Yeah, so. you could put less liquid in it and almost have it as a spread. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're gonna, as we said, we're gonna use this as on a pizza, like a taco pizza. So, and admittedly, wouldn't you say this is best like the day of? Fresh, absolutely. Because um, it's nice and warm. It will thicken up if you don't finish it once it goes into the fridge. Mm -hmm. um, but super, super yummy and, and good. And like, easy, super easy. Yeah, didn't take any time so, at all. So. Awesome. Anyway, all right. Be kind. Eat pizza. With plants. See ya.